the almost year-long eviction moratorium has expired. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Ruby and I help real estate agents launch, build and scale profitable real estate businesses. And today I want to talk to you about a recent announcement and somewhat controversial topic with regard to the United States Supreme Court's decision to recently lift the eviction moratorium that's been in place for over a year and a half. But we're not gonna talk too much about the moratorium specifically. However, I will get into that so you understand what that is. But more importantly, what I'm going to share with you is how you as a real estate agent can take this information and this understanding and this opportunity to grow your real estate business, to meet more people, to create more leads, and ultimately get more closings and more sales. See, the vast majority of real estate agents really don't know much about this stuff. Even the top agents out there aren't really familiar with how to take advantage of this situation. And what's super cool about this is you can use this again to grow your business. So as much as I like for you to guys to share my videos, in this case, why don't you keep it to yourself? And instead, just go ahead and comment, subscribe down below, make sure to give a follow so you don't miss any of the videos that I put out to help you with your real estate business. Now, before we can talk about how to use this event in your business, it's important that we understand what it's all about. So I'm gonna break it down for you in a nutshell. A nutshell? Who says that? I don't know. So back in September of 2020, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention put a temporary stop to landlords being able to evict tenants for non-payment. That's right, landlords could not kick tenants out of their homes onto the street with nowhere to go for not being able to pay their rent or for choosing not to pay their rent. What? So I was somewhat shocked to learn that it was actually the CDC the Center for Disease Control that was able to put this in place. But it really made sense when they mentioned exactly what they were talking about and why they put this moratorium into place. So the reason for the moratorium was to prevent the further spread of the COVID-19 virus. By preventing homelessness and overcrowding conditions that could result from homelessness. I get it, I totally get it. But what about the landlords who have experienced a year and a half in many cases of not being paid rent? And in the vast majority of these cases, these landlords have a signed contract, also known as a lease, with said tenants in exchange to pay for the rent, right? So Houston, we have a problem. Tenants won. Landlords, zero. Then on August 26, 2021, the US Supreme Court ruled to remove the moratorium. That's right, landlords could now evict tenants. What? So does this mean that landlords can now move forward to start to recoup all of these losses that they've experienced over the last 18 months? Absolutely, yes it does. And I can tell you, they're gonna come with a vengeance to recoup these losses. I know I would. Those that don't have a place to go, those who haven't planned for this to be removed already, those who may be sick or struggling or what have you, this causes another problem and thus creating this controversial topic between the landlord side and the tenant side. And as you can see, I like to remain right in the middle. So, tie ball game for now. Landlords won, tenants won. So this is where we have the problem. And anytime there's a problem, those who find the solutions are the ones who win. So when we can create a win-win situation, meaning you win and the person you're helping wins, then that's what we're looking for. That's why we're getting into this business is to help people in exchange we get rewarded, right? So here's what it means to you as a real estate agent and how you can capitalize on this. Hundreds of thousands of tenants are going to be evicted from their homes with no place to live. Now, many of them may not be able to afford to buy a home right now. They might not have the down payment. They may not have the credit in order to uh, be approved for a mortgage. 
That doesn't mean you can't help them. You can be someone to help guide them to a rental agency or even get them to a lender, a mortgage lender, to help them establish or reestablish their credit and position them so they can be a future buyer. So that's one way that you can help those that are being evicted. Now also keep in mind that some of these tenants who weren't paying rent were savvy enough to start stocking away money for a down payment. So there's a lot of people who eventually be moving out of the rental market and into the buying market with significant sums of cash for down payment. So some people have used this event as a way to stockpile money to help them buy a home. You can then position yourself to help them in that way. Now, how can you help the owners of these properties? Well, keep in mind the owners of these properties in many cases have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars across multiple properties in some cases in many states. And some are just simply hanging on and eventually are gonna have to sell. The point here is that there are landlords and property owners that need your help. So how can you help them? I'm gonna tell you right now. So the first thing that you can do is go into the public records in your county, in your city, in your general area, and find all of the properties that are owned in an LLC. That's a limited liability corporation. This is what investors will put their houses in once they buy them, is in a company name. Once you have all of this information and in all of these LLCs, you have some options there. You can send out a letter to these homeowners, these landlords, asking them if they need some help. You can subscribe to a number service, a phone number service, where you can pull those numbers and call those property owners, have discussions with them, ask them where they are, if they've been affected by this moratorium. You can door knock. You can talk to the tenants that are in there, find out potentially what their situation is, and then also talk to the homeowner. So talk about a two for one, offer a free market analysis to these homeowners, these landlords. In many cases, they don't know exactly how much these homes are worth. In addition to that, you contact your local title company and you get a net sheet for these owners. They can see exactly how much they'll walk away from the transaction if they decide to sell. You see, once they start to see those dollar signs as potential in their pocket, and you can help facilitate that by helping them sell their home, they may be more apt not only to sell the home, but to sell the home with you. And that's what we want. So all in all, there's two sides to this story. It's somewhat controversial. I get it because I understand both sides of the situation here. I also understand that this is an opportunity for new real estate agents and real estate agents really of all experience to get out there and help these people. And what better way to grow your business than helping people who actually need your help. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below, comment, like. We really appreciate you watching all these videos. And um, until next time, see ya.